Man, everybody blast the chat. Let your people who who's in music know that we're going live. Let them know that we giving up the game. You know, we talking shit. This one is really one big ass hot box. If you ain't noticed, that's really what these sessions be. Just one big ass studio hot box. Man, you guys want to do a quick Q and A before I start mixing? You guys got any questions you want to ask? What's your favorite old school TDE record? In the chat, what's your favorite old school TDE? What's your favorite old TDE? Just J Rock, Kendrick, Ab Soul, Schoolboy. What's your favorite record? Blessed. Oh God, LC, bitch, I'm in the club with the homies. Michael Jordan. That was my favorite songs for sure. Turn me up some. Bet I got some weed. Ignorance is bliss. That's a good one. That's one of my favorites too. I'll say one of my favorites is Sex with Society, uh, Cartoons and Serial. Ignorance is Bliss, now that somebody put that in the chat. Um, ADHD. Uh, shit, Money Trees. Where is the, where is the camera? Oh, wow. <laughs> what are some albums do I recommend for mixing engineers to listen to? I recommend listening to, because music nowadays is so monotone, it's hard to really understand textures when it comes to like sonics. So go back and like my, when I was doing To Pimp a Butterfly, the albums that I will vibe to a lot were the Mo Better Blue soundtrack was Abbey Road by the Beatles and was Hella Parliament's Funkadelics. Go back and listen to Hella Parliament's Funkadelics. Let's go back and listen to Abbey Road. Uh, I would listen to Nirvana. Um, I would listen to albums that I had a lot of instrumentation a lot of layers, a lot of textures, and dope-ass vocals, you know? And I try to find a way where I could take everything from all of those different eras of music and different genres of music and try to fuse it together with some new shit that we were doing with Pimp a Butterfly. Yeah, Funkadelic albums are insane, bro. Like, you got to think, man, I'm from the West Coast. Like, all that, all that old Snoop and Dre shit was all Parliament's Funkadelics. Niggas just sampling all them crazy worm scents and shit that he had that... that that George Clinton used, all of that stuff is all influenced. I mean, all the West Coast G Funk shit was influenced by P Funk. I was tripping. We worked with Bro on uh, on Pimple Butterfly. He pulled up to the studio swagging, old nigga. Pulled up, had the fire little dreads. This shit was lit. I wanted to ask this man, I wanted to pick his brain so bad. How's everybody feeling? You alive? Let me get the Ali back with packs. You smoking? You hanging out? You chilling? You learning something? Put something in the air. You guys enjoying the new views or what? Shout out to Theo, you know what I'm saying? She surprised me with them. I love them. Let me know if you're fucking with the new views. Kid, you in the chat? My boy, what's happening? Shout out to DJ Kid. He in the chat right now. Follow my boy. He getting his Twitch up right now. I know he could be doing some crazy production competitions. All type of shit. Shout out to my boy, DJ Kid, in the chat live right now. He said, do you mix definitely when straight to when you're high? No, I mix the same. It's a vibe to me. You know, it's not it's not really ones and zeros when I mix. It's more of a feeling. You know, once I feel things locked in, I know it's right, you know. I don't I don't sit up here and yeah, let's turn just turn twelve K up, you know, twelve D B. No, we're not doing that. You know, it's it's a feeling. Um, and you know, we, we wanna we wanna we wanna give a little bit of that human that human nature to it, you know what I'm saying? That love that He said, how is your mix bus hitting negative 10, but your kicking bass is hitting like negative two? So that's the that's the that's the the strength of 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 how I got everything routed right now and how I got it summed. You know, it's it is there's ways that I know how to use this board to to use that type of distortion in my favor, you know, to give that that kick or that 808 or that hi-hat or whatever I'm 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 blowing out of proportion when it comes to level. I'm able to get a certain type of like peak or like a good distortion from it when I can manipulate it through this board. You know, when you're mixing on on analog gear, you can you can you can distort, and you won't get a distortion sound. You will just get a, a a more you know a more fatter sound if that makes sense. He said, "How do you know when you're getting the right level and knock out of your low end?" Again, it's just feeling, you know. But with me also, it's a constant blend. Again, I'll go with the 808 and vocals. I'll make sure the blend, I'll make sure the vocals sit well on top of the 808 with that blend together. And then I'll have the 808 and kick and percussion and make sure all those things blend. I wanna make sure everything sits in its, in its respective pocket. 
So, you know, there's a lot of just fine tuning and cutting out little frequencies here and adding there just to make sure everything is, is sitting around or on top of or, or under each other. Good looking out. Nah, it's solid. You said, do you ever side chain an 808 and kick? Nah, I try. I, I don't like the side chain an 808 and, and, and kick. The side chain, what it does, it literally just pulls the punch out of whatever bass or 808 that you're trying to side chain with that kick. You know, you're trying to get more punch, not not less punch. You know, so instead of side chaining, I literally surgically EQ, you know, find the clashing frequencies from the two different sounds, and I would duck one and boost the other. How long How long it took you to get used to the studio? Um, usually when I'm in the studio, I, I, I lock in for some months. Like, I've been here for, I've been here for what? How, how long have been here for? Four or five months. Like four or five months, six months. Uh, before here, I was in another spot for about a year. Uh, before that, I was in a whole another spot. So I, I like to, you know, switch up the vibes just so, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm going to work. I don't like to feel like I'm going to work every day. I want to switch it up and, you know, be excited when I get there. So I switch the vibes up, switch the environments up, and I kind of just rotate. Chris Styles, I see you. Shout out to you. He said, you had 17 hertz. They closed that motherfucking cesspool down. How do you know about 17 hertz? <laughs> That motherfucker, niggas getting stabbed in that mother. What? what? 17 Hertz was every man for himself in that bitch. <laughs> 17 Hertz, wow. You remember 17 Hertz? Oh, yeah, Somebody man. asked me, like, is that 17 Hertz? I'm like, what? They closed that bitch all the way down. That motherfucker, I think it was like a raid. I think people, like, the people who were running that studio or some shit, I heard they were, like, squatting or some shit. Like, it was crazy. Fuck, I fuck with the vision, fam. Let's build. He said, do you do MSEQ on the board? Nah, I do most of the, uh, I did something on this one. I did some of the uh, the mid side EQing in the box using the, the Pro Q2. Super easy to use. He said, what, what's the what's the headroom do I usually have when going to mastering? Um, I try to aim for something between negative five and negative 10. You know, somewhere in that price range, somewhere in that range. How do you decide which reverb and delay to add? Um, on a lot of records that I get where the, you know, nowadays everybody has that demo white shit. Like that is just, you know, it's one of the things that every every artist has that I work with. And, you know, because there's so many engineers now, like every artist has their own basic recording engineer that, that they work with. Uh, sessions, a lot of sessions that I work with that are new clients, a lot of those sessions really come already with the effects that they have on there. So I like to just fine tune what they had rather than stripping it down and 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 rebuilding the, the the effects you know they've been living with that with that with that rough mix or with that edit for so long you go back and switch up the, the verb it might change the tone of the vocal or change the tone of the placement of of any instrument so you know i like to kind of just uh shine up what's there rather than going back and, and rebuilding effects at least and shout out to mike dean mike dean's on twitch now follow my guy shout out to josh goodwin josh goodwin's on twitch alex Pume. shout out to the homies Shout out to everybody subscribing, man. It's been going crazy. We got 21 subs. Shout out to y'all. Is everybody enjoying the stream or what, man? I know I'm taking forever to twist up. I like to take long when I twist my blunt. It's like ghetto origami. You know, I like to just let my brain wander and just twist up so I can enjoy the blunt. It's like a bonsai, like a ghetto bonsai tree. If y'all enjoying the Twitch, man? If you guys enjoying the stream, let me know. He said make a swan blunt. Nigga, can't, who the fuck can make a swan? This Elias, you crazy, my dog. Let me get back to this shit, man. Niggas talking about swan blunts. The homie Shelto could probably make a twan, uh, 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 a swan out of his blunts. I promise you, the next time the homie's in town, <laughs> I'm going to show you how fast he could twist blunts. I'm going to call Mike Dean. I'm going to see if he has a homie that could twist blunts fast too, and we're going to have a blunt off. Live on Twitch. Studio to studio. Coast to coast. Blunt offs. Brought to you by Fuck With Your Boy Records. <laughs> he said verses for blunts. <laughs> That'd be fire. The blunt off. The, the fastest fingers of the West. One night only. Friday, Friday. The blunt off. Yo. You watching you on the stair? You fucking with it? This nigga Mike. <laughs> can, you, can you see yourself? Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike? I said shout out to Mike. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, man? I'm trying to get everybody to get this, get ready for this game station. Exactly. Y'all just seen if we gave it away yet. Nah, we haven't done a raffle yet. We gonna probably do it. You said what? Nice. Yeah, do your thing. Save it and uh, yeah, we'll yeah. probably do it in, in the next. What time is it now? Nine. And like the next thirty, we'll do it. We shall have you on while we do it. Huh? 
Yep. No, this is uh Studio B, the back. You man, you don't know nothing about this right here, man. You've been mixing in the house forever. That's one of my old rooms right there. Man, when? <laughs> Might be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> These hell. They said Mike been in this motherfucker in 2000. You said what? Say it again. I try to mix like Tom Refining Forever, like a few things, yeah. Nigga, Mike been doing this shit when I was out, man. I hate you, bro. I hope to God I could do it. I hope, I hope to God I could do this shit as long as you, man. Fuck. Yeah, your ears are gonna ring. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, man. It's, it's getting there, trust me. Trust me, there's a lot of huns. There's a lot of a, a lot more huns are entering my vocabulary. Uh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Shout out to Mike Dean, man. Hey, yeah. Game Station coming real soon. You got an official date when it come out or not? Yeah, it's dropping tomorrow. Oh, it's dropping tomorrow. Black Friday. Pull up, Black Friday, Game Station. Exactly. We're going crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm just I'm sorry to say. You enjoying it or what? Uh huh. You you fucking with it? You enjoying it? Yeah, hell yeah. It's dope. Word, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you when we wrap up. All right, for sure. All right. Shout out to Mike. If you're not following Mike Dean, follow Mike Dean on Twitch. If I was to get dry vocals, how would I go about cleaning those up? Whenever I get dry vocals, that's when I really get the freedom to do what I want. You know, whenever somebody sends me dry vocals, that's just telling me like go ham. So at that point, uh, you know, I just go ham. You know, I would get a solid blend of the music. And then just, you know, get a solid vocal blend of the, of, of the vocals and where they sit. Um, and then I'll just add a bunch of different effects, you know, take some off, add some more. I try to do some, I over-process plugins to try to create a whole different sound, just a whole different, a whole bunch of plugins fused into one. So, you know, I, in, in those type of scenarios and situations, that's when, you know, we have really a, a lot of fun with um, the effect processing. I, I'm going to see if I can find a session that I can work on that, that gives me that freedom so you could just see. You know, you can go completely just ape shit with throwing shit on top of each other when it comes to effects and just having fun with it, using your imagination. I look at effects and, and the reverb and delays and things like just painting on a canvas, you know, just adding certain delay throws to use the left and the right stereo imaging, all type of shit. So I'm going to wrap this up so we can get ready to do this this giveaway. Again, we're giving away a few of Mike Dean's new Gain Station plug-in, distortion plug-in. And then we also, uh, I'm going to give away some uh, some sound toys. Uh, I'm going to give away some sound toys, a little altar boy. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to check my inventory, see what else we got in the back. See what else we can hand over to y'all. All right, bet.